Now this is supposed to be curved. It's not curved because I had to straighten it out a little bit. I'm trying to get it out of the slot. This is a main bearing. This main bearing basically got locked up onto the crank. And surprisingly, it didn't even, it really didn't hurt the crank any. Um, um, you see so the last video, I removed the oil pan off of my truck and got it cleaned up. Pressure washed it, got the dirt, the grease, and all that stuff out. Now it's time to do some cutting and some welding. So before I even get started, <clears throat> before I even get started, I know there can be a bunch of people that says, hey, you can't do that because cast aluminum versus a sheet aluminum is going to be this, that, and the other, expansion rate, the heat cycles, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm not worried about any of that because this is just going to be a short-term fix. I'm not trying to spend $1,200 right now on an oil pan when I can weld aluminum. So I'm going to weld it on the outside and on the inside. It's not going to, it's not going to leak. It may crack over time, but the engine, the engine is stout. Uh, it's not like um, it's not like the you know something that's going to be flimsy or doing a lot of movement and jerking and, and stuff like that and uh, just flexing in general it doesn't even have pressure you know it's not like i'm building a, a you know some kind of air pig or something or an air tank it's literally just there to hold the 10 gallons of oil nine and a half gallons of oil that's it so i think it's gonna be fine i only want to run this thing for probably like a thousand miles at most um unless it's not leaking and then I might just leave it on there for a little longer. Yeah, whatever. But right now, I'm not trying to fork out $1,200 for an oil pan when I have aluminum right there and an oil pan right here that's usable. What I'm going to do... Now, I'm not cutting all this out. Um, I am going to have to... I am just going to do it like a, a cardboard template on this piece and come out but i am going to cut this chunk out um straight down and over all the way around and then all the way to this side and back up <clears throat> basically that gets rid of all this stuff here where it used to be a drain plug i have a drain plug here another drain plug here don't worry i can still check my i can still drain my oil um but it also gets rid of this bad uh, crack right here and gets rid of all this stuff here that I ain't going to worry about fixing. And instead of putting cardboard template here and cutting it out to this shape, it's, it's just going to be a little bit faster, I believe, if I just go ahead and chop all this out all the way around. And so at least I'll be working with one, two, three flat pieces. Um mostly flat pieces and then i'll just have to worry about this top section i'll just have to worry about the top section here you know cutting this piece right here to kind of fit i got to clean it all up first before i kind of cut it and trace it but then i'll, I'll just take and weld this crack up here <coughs> excuse me and weld this crack up right here these scrapes are not from me this is from the accident itself what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the skill saw that little booger right on and i'm going to run it down like that and then all the way around and down like that uh if you plan to do this yourself with a skill saw no matter what you're cutting as far as aluminum i'm going to use a regular wood blade because the wood blade will will cut aluminum fairly good fairly easy um just it's really loud like super loud you got the resonance a resonating sound through this and then the resonating sound through the blade and it's just really loud to so wear ear protection and obviously wear eye protection and you know you'll see it i want to
Cut this thing pretty decently square and straight and so the plate that i made for the driver's side here actually fits on this side here a little bit of extra snippets so i traced it out made another plate copied it and the other part of my is in China, but it actually fits quite well i've got one little gap right here i think i'm going to Run it a little bit more and it'll be good to go. Let's just mark this real quick where it needs to go. And grind it.
All right, y'all. Got the oil pan done. It's all welded up, all the way around. I have not welded the inside yet, um, but I am going to do that tomorrow at some point, or probably Sunday. Um, it is 10.54, up oh, 10.55, and I am done. I've chased all the, uh, I cleaned and chased all the cracks that were right here. I'm not worried about that. I've welded up plenty of cracks in oil pans and transmission pans. Um, and they've always been fine. So, we good. Now, like I said, I'm going to weld the inside up. It's going to be double welded um, inside and out. I'm not actually worried about it leaking now the way it is. But, I want this thing to last a long time because I think I'm going to end up just leaving it. And, uh... Hoping for the best, I reckon. Don't really know. It don't look pretty, but it'll hold. This stuff was aggravating as crap. Not only were they using, you know, dirty aluminum here. It's got looks like grinding marks all over it. Little specks and stuff. Welding. I don't know what else. Well, I don't really know what it is. But anyway, uh, yeah, some of it was pretty decent. And then some of it just welded like poo especially all this right here i know it would because cracks hold the uh oil or whatever you know whatever the pan is don't even it don't really matter what it is but um i'm tired y'all uh it was holding oil i ground it all out you know basically just take the cut off wheel and just cut a slit through the crack so you can get all the junk out of it um and I did this part pretty much last. I did all this first. That was a lot cleaner, which is still wasn't all that clean. But I did all this and all the way up to here and then skipped over to here and did all this and did all the sides. And that put enough heat in this to help bake that oil out. Um, there's really no right way to do it, but uh, you could do it with a torch, uh, heat all this uh, aluminum up real good and it'll bake that oil out of there. Um, but I just used the heat from the weld, you know, from welding it. And uh, yeah, clean it out with brake parts cleaner multiple times. Grind it out real good, clean it again, and then just went to town on it. But anyway, that will be the end of this video because I am tired. It is late. I'm going inside to eat a bowl of cereal or something. All right, y'all. That's it. I'm out of here. I will see y'all later.